Okay, video for the trade recap on August 29th. It's a Tuesday. I started at 1018, hit profit in six minutes by 1024, 583. Been doing this for about three weeks straight using Trade Saber with Ludwig levels and support and resident radar along with the automation, which I kind of control. So these are the results I've been getting. I'll show the full results later. This is day five of trading. It's it's like at $2,800. I just stopped because I hit the profit target. And I still got to trade one or two more days. So we'll hit it at that point. But this is the actual chart. Again, I trade at random times. I don't pick a specific time. It's based on my schedule. So uh, I wasn't looking at the market here, but it was way up today. You can see 333 at the end of the day. But it was up 150 here coming to a level. Uh by the time I got looking at charts, it was through this level. Well, generally, you could see it's a lot of times I will take a short here and you know win these trades, but with such a strong up, I kind of don't risk it because it could blast through. And it struggled. You would have won these shorts right here. I only would take one or two max. Uh, once it blasted through, and you're up here, now this becomes well, this is resistance becomes support. So now I'm looking to take longs right here at these levels. So I activated here. If this didn't hold, I would have added here. You can see it went up. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure what I got there, but it, I, it's pretty much, you know, this one I let the automation signal go. Uh, and then it didn't hit first. It was only 12 ticks away. It's, it didn't get the 12 ticks, but I added, you can see, right right around here. These I had three levels here. And this is one of them held and got a spike. These trades are winners. Once we broke this level, I knew we were going to this level, and I'm already up a few hundred there. So, thinking the last two trades, yeah, I was over here up 289 right there, somewhere in that range. So, uh, 400 was the goal, and you can see I blew right past that um, because I seen the chart well. Uh, so I just activated <clears throat> again. Th the only real signal I took I think was this one, uh, and then I added here. That was a quick. Quick uh, add right here, add one. This one I just hit quick long and boom, pay pretty quickly. Same exact thing here. I kind of entered quick long before this bar even turned green. So uh, knowing that if it didn't help, you know, work out, I could add in here. And, you know, we were going to win these trades. Once I got to 625, I was 200 bucks away. That was the end of that. And just to show you the whole, uh, this is the whole day, starting on the uh, 23rd. And you're going to see the random times, 1046. Done by 11, so in 14 minutes, 567. Next day, the 24th, was 147. I was on a corporate event, DJing the whole day. I uh, got a break. The venue was up the block from my house, came home, took a good look at the chart, got the levels, and there you go, another 20 minutes, another 600. And that was at, you know, one in the afternoon. Next day, looks like I was up early, 943. I was really done in three minutes. I was up like four or five hundred. Saw an easy setup right at nine fifty four, and the twenty fifth was done. You know, again within eleven minutes. I, you know, there was a, I, I stopped trading for like five six minutes, but then I saw a gimme and took the trade another six hundred. So that's eighteen hundred in three days. Weekend hits. Monday rolls around. I, ha I was going on vacation, so I actually traded pre-market, which I never do. But you can see the levels work no matter what. This is 9.24 before the market opened. There were some gimme trades, took those. Really had my profit before uh, the market. Now, this got a little crazy because the market opened. Probably shouldn't have traded it. Uh, and you can see what happened here. I got into a trade, uh, and because the it was market open, I, I had some levels down below. Well, I knew I could add in. It's exactly what happened because it was the open. It's just way too volatile. It actually swung down, hit that level. I added in. Look, look how far down. It's 30 points away. That's where I added in. So the money I lost on these entries, which I shouldn't have did, this was a level, like a strong, strong level. And even though it was the open, like a rocket, and I added in at 922. It shot like a rocket. Well, in three minutes, it went 30 points. Boom, uh, you know, got me the profit for the day. Probably shouldn't have took that trade, but again, I had a safety net there. But in hindsight, not a good idea to trade at 
30 and 20 seconds in the morning, but the level still held up somehow. So it was a little more luck, but I did know the level was there. And then today's the last day, which I showed you, not one losing trade. Uh, if you look at the summary, um, you know, 86, I mean, this is just incredible. Uh, largest losing 154, and that was a losing trade. I actually won that trade because I won a 435 trade the same time this loss. So uh, we still, you know, the numbers look great. And uh, again, fifth funded account in the last few weeks using the trade saber, activating this on off, hitting mostly quick longs, quick short areas, adding contracts when needed, and being done within five to 15 minutes. Anyway, all good news with Trade Saber.